Hi! In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful animation to present a list of five items using Morph Transition in PowerPoint. It's a very attractive animation and it's surprisingly easy to create even for beginners. I'm using Microsoft 365 subscription that allows me to use Morph Transition. Let us learn how to create this beautiful slide from scratch. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. For this specific slide, I used this background. I got this background from freepick.com and this is the one. When you search for white background with spiral pattern center, you will get this background. You can download it and use it as your slide background. Now let us get on with creating the various elements that are required for this animation. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this isosceles triangle and then draw a triangle like so. Then let us pick up the oval tool from the same Auto Shapes Gallery and then draw an oval shape like this. First, observe the width of this triangle. You can always click on it, go to shape format to know the dimensions. It is 3.29 centimeters. Make sure that your circle also has the same dimensions, 3.29 centimeters. And once it is done, you can use your up arrow to make sure that everything is aligned properly and this is our first shape. You can either select both of them and use shape union or I am just going to keep it as a group. So I am going to select this and select this. Go to shape outline, no outline and then group it. So this is our first one. Now let me reduce the size of this by holding the shift button and then reducing the size like so. This will be one of the elements of the fan animation. Then let us rotate it right 90 degrees and place it over here. Make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then flip it horizontally and make sure that they both are aligned properly using the smart guide and their tip touches each other. Now we need to select this group, right click, go to format shape, go to fill and then go to solid fill and increase the transparency all the way till 100%. So there is no visibility of any element here, no outline, no shape fill, but you cannot use no fill option, then this particular trick will not work. So you need to have a solid fill. It doesn't matter which color you use because you're going to increase the transparency all the way till 100%. Then select both the elements, press Ctrl G to group it. And this is a very important one because by adding this ghost shape, I have shifted the center point from here to here. That allows me to rotate it like this. And that is very important for our specific animation. Now I'm going to make four more copies of this by pressing Ctrl D and let me place it somewhere over here. And then let us press Ctrl D, D, D. So we have five of these elements available. Now we're going to change the colors of these elements. To make it look interesting, I'm going to choose a color palette. I'm choosing the color palette from coolers.co. Let us select this one. This looks quite interesting. Let me choose Windows Shift S shortcut that allows me to take a clip of this colors. That is, by the way, if you don't know, it's a very simple shortcut for snipping a part of the website or anything that you see on the screen. So let us use these colors to color these elements. For this one, I'm going to select this and this while holding the shift button down. So I select these two elements and then let us go to shape fill and then go to color and then choose eyedropper tool and then use this to select this color. So you've got that done. Now let us select this and this while holding the shift button down and use the same eyedropper tool to pick up another color. Instead of this one, let us choose this dark red color. Then let us do the same thing for these two. Make sure that you're not selecting this ghost shape and that is very important and pick all the colors that seem right to you. So we've got these five colors from here. Let me delete this. We don't need that anymore. Let us select this group. Use Alt F10 to bring in your selection pane. This is called group 70. We don't need that way. We call it number one. And then let us do the same thing. Let us have this as number two and select this number three. Select this and we call this number four and select this and we call it number five. So let us select all of these elements and make sure that they are properly aligned. Let us select that align bottom option and then align left. So everything is aligned beautifully. Now we don't need this selection pane. So let us close this and let us copy the text label here. I'm choosing whatever that I've already used. 
and I'm going to place it over here and this will explain our first point. Now let us select everything and then move it to the center so the diagram looks more balanced. So this is our first slide. Let us open the thumbnail so you can see what I'm doing here. Then let me right click and duplicate the slide. Once again, let us bring in the selection pane. If you see this, when I select, it is number one. Now we need to select these other ones. So hold the control button and select all these groups and then hold the shift button down and use this rotation handle. And for each movement, you can see there is a 15 degree rotation. And now I'm using this for the third stop, which gives me a 45 degree angle. Excellent. So this is my second one and here I'm going to go to transitions and use morph transition and then let us have the second one explained with a label. So I'm going to place it right next to it. Then right click and duplicate the slide. Now what we have got here is number two. So we need to select number three while holding the control button four and five and then use the exact same thing. Hold the shift button down and in the increment of 15 degrees, make sure that you have a third round taken and that is your third element. And let us make a copy of this label and place it right over here and make sure that it is aligned centrally. So we've got our third one done. Right click, duplicate the slide. And then this one is number three. So we are going to select this and this, which is four and five. Hold the shift button down and add another 45 degrees and then label the text and duplicate the slide and let us do the final one. We need to select just the fifth one and then hold the shift button down and make sure that it is right opposite this one. So let us move this label over here. So we have got our five of these elements beautifully labeled. Now I'm going to do one more thing. That is, I'm going to cover this portion here with a white circle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, hold the shift button down and draw an oval and place it right over here. Ensure that the midpoint of these elements are all aligned. Then go to shape fill and use this white fill. Go to shape outline, no outline. Then press Control C to copy it and then paste it on every other slide as well. So the design looks consistent. Now that is all you require when you go to the first slide and go to slideshow. This is what you see on the first slide. Then we explain the second point. Then we explain the third point then the fourth one and the fifth one. You can use some very interesting custom animation to present your list. And here is an example taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle where we show three pictures and their corresponding explanation. If you want to show the same three elements, but by highlighting each of the elements like this, then you can use this kind of an effect. And if you want it as three questions, then you can use something like this. Can you see the same list can be presented in so many different ways. And if you want to show it as three benefits, then you can use a photo like this and then bring in the light for each of these benefits. And that is another way to draw the viewer's attention. All the templates that I showed you are from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. In case you don't know what it is, it is a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates which are all professionally animated to help you create beautiful presentations in a matter of minutes. The link is in the description box below the video. Check out more details by clicking on the link. If you are interested in presenting your list in a very creative way, then I have created this video for you called Makeover of Bullet Point Slide into Beautiful PowerPoint Presentation. This will be the right video to watch right after watching this tutorial. I will leave a link to this tutorial right now on your screen. You can click on the link and watch that video next. And if you want to join our 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas 5-day free email mini training, you can click on the link here you get 25 useful PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation. So click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.